I'm standing next to a 1991 W140 500 SEL. This is a milestone car. This is the first year of the big bodied infamous 140 chassis. And it's the first year that they put the newly designed V8 engine in these big sedans. That engine is called the M119 V8. And this is a 5.0 liter. When you look at this engine, you can say, wow, that is a big engine and it is very impressive. It was kind of the end of no holes barred engineering at Mercedes-Benz where they developed an engine that when you look at this, you can see some of the extremes they went to when they developed this engine and particularly when they put it in the W140 chassis. Well, I just removed the air filter assembly and right away I saw a couple things and then I started poking around and I'm looking at a few other potential problems. And I decided this would be a great series on the M119 engine. It's not going to be about fixing everything. It's not going to be about overhauling it. It's going to be about inspecting it, particularly if you end up purchasing one of these Mercedes with one of these engines, you'll want to do a very thorough inspection in the engine compartment. And so we're going to go through a multi-part series where I show you everything I'm going to inspect and we'll no doubt discuss some of problems because I'm already looking in here and seeing some potential problems that will have to be dealt with and fixed. But in this first one, I just want to talk about the air filter assembly, just removing the box. I'm not going to go over that because that's not difficult, but I do want to show you what I found when I did remove the intake air box. And right away, here are a couple things that are going to, going to need fixing. Anytime you have an engine that's over 20 years old, you're going to have some age and heat related issues. And I saw that right away when I removed uh, this air cleaner box assembly. I'm just going to show you this one side here and how it's attached. There's a, uh, a rubber mount at the back and then there's this clip in the front. And when I, when I removed it, you know, it came off okay. And then you have this problem right here that's very common. You know, this is start, starting to come apart due to age. I think we can go ahead and reuse this. We'll just glue this back in place. But let me show you what happened uh, on the other side here. The mount was actually broken and both of these rubber mounts are literally as hard as a rock. The clips are okay, so that's not going to be a problem. And then when I, uh, you know, took the, the air filters out, they, they were supposed to have been recently replaced, but, you know, there's quite a bit of junk and crud down in there, so you don't want to skimp on air filters. Even though this air filter looks okay when you start opening up, you can see, see the dirt down in there. Um, I'm going to replace the air filters as well. So right off the bat, I've got some new parts to order. I've ordered up a couple of, of new rubber mounts. Here you can see uh, the old one that's torn and the new one. The old one, once again, is absolutely has no flex to it. You look at the new one here, you can see it's definitely rubber. This, this feels like a rock. And then I've got the, the two new air filters that we're going to install. Be always be very careful when you're changing air filters on these that you totally blow out both the lower and the upper part of the air box. I mean, if you get dirt that gets by those filter uh, sections and goes down into that engine, that, that's really bad. So just pay particular attention when you're changing air filters. Just thoroughly clean all the box sections out and blow them out with compressed air if you have it. So that, has, that kind of covers it. We'll probably get some good uh, silicone RTV and glue these uh, intake uh, back in place and that kind of does it with the the air filter now the next thing I go after usually when I'm doing an engine inspection are the belts and the hoses we're going to go in there and we're going to take a really close look in part two at the condition of all the hoses this is fuel hoses vacuum hoses breather hoses uh, radiator hoses as well as the serpentine belt